All right, Tennessee in the course practice test for Algebra 1. This is the final question, number 65. Um, n squared plus 20n plus 100. Now, when I look at this, uh, when they want me to factor it out, which is what they're asking me to do, there's a couple ways I can go about it. Since it's a multiple choice test, you could always just redo the, uh, the answer choices to try to find it. So if I did n times n, that gives me n squared. n times 10 gives you 10n. 10 times n gives you another 10n, and then do 10 times 10, which is 100. Combine these two together. Oh my goodness, there's the answer. See how it matches up here? So the answer is A. If you want to factor it out for some reason, look at the second sign. If it is plus, that means the answers are the same underneath. They're both my, my n plus terms. They're either going to be n plus or n minus. The first sign tells me what they are, and they're both plus. Now, if these signs are the same, that means once I factor 100, I'm actually going to be adding the factors to try to get to that 20. Let's skip the blue and go straight to the actual answer itself. Now. When I'm looking, when I have the same signs, be they negative or positive, I'm going to make sure that I'm adding those things together. So 5 and 20 gives me 25, so that's not going to be it. 4 and 25 gives me 29, so that's not going to be it. But 10 plus 10 does give me that 20. So there you go. Very simple process to get correct, um, very easy. Once again, lose your mind. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and check my x and see if it's equal to something other than 0, and it is. And instead of n, I'm just going to put x. And then I'm going to try my answers looking for 400. There it is. See how they're the same? And like if I try the next one down, for instance. See, it doesn't give me 400, it gives me 0. So you know it's not that one. So the answer to number 65 is A.